So that is the whole process. That is the mechanism. And I think as re research continues, there's probably going to be more mechanisms and, and really more statistics on it because um, we know what B12 does for the nervous system. We know what magnesium does. We know what nitric oxide does. And we know what dysbiosis, meaning the bad bacteria in the gut, we know what it does. So there's no uh, lack of understanding there, but the connection between exactly what percentage of people taking PPIs and exactly for how long creates what degree of dementia, the studies are, are a little bit all over the place with that. But if you think with the mechanisms and you know what these substances do, as a protective element, it only makes sense that we would see this. And we certainly do see it in our practice. And, and I feel badly, you know, for people who have just been on these for, as I said, years and even decades, and they didn't know, you know, and, and there's somebody who had the reflux and, and this drug seemed, you know, PPIs really seemed to handle it for them and they just kept taking them and their doctor kept prescribing it. 